Hi everybody, it's Heather Parrott, uh, independent demonstrator here in Nova Scotia, Canada. Um, so I thought I would like to play around with, um, uh, some people like to make their own DSP and I would like to incorporate something like that, but not like the whole card front. Um, so I thought I would play with the birds and branches. And I'm also going to use the coordinating dies that are with this set. Um, my pieces are, um, so I have half a sheet of eight and a half by 11 inch cardstock. I cut that in half and then I scored that in half. Then I have, um, my first layer is basic gray and that is cut at four inches by five and a quarter. Let me double check that. Four inches by five and a quarter. And then I have, uh, this is um, ultra thick whisper white. And I cut this at two and a half inches by five. And then I took some paper from um, where is it? Oh, right here. This is from the paper pack in the annual catalog. And I'm using the wood grain side because I thought that would look cute with my little birds. Okay, so these are three quarters of an inch wide by five. So they're the same length as my white piece. And so those are all my pieces for my card. And this is the piece that I wanted to stamp. And then I'm going to do some birds and put those on this as well. So this is my first time doing this. <laughs> um, we'll see how it goes. My thought was I would take Let's see, I would take this stack stone background stamp and I'm not going to mount it on um, a block. I'm just going to take some gray granite ink and I'm just going to sporadically like I'm just gonna roll it a little bit and then I was gonna put it on here, roll it and then go beside it in the lighter color. And just kind of do that all over. Like I say, it's my first time doing this so Just playing around a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to clean this off before I put it back. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I have the large branch from the birds and branches and I have the leaves. And my thought was I wanted one bird down here and one bird kind of up here. So I'm going to take some brown. This is chocolate chip. I don't have any of the, um, I don't have any of the new new um, any brown colors that are current in the catalog so I'm hoping to put an order in next month okay so I think I'm gonna have a, a bird sitting right about here and then
another bird down there. So one there and one there. And I think I'll add another one up here just to kind of but I don't want it too far into the card. Okay. Now I'm going to take old olive and do some stamping with my leaves. And I'm just going to stamp twice to get different shades of the same color. I don't think I want to add any more to that. Well, maybe I should add an, another little, just to fill it in a little bit. This is looking a little bare there. I think I'll leave the space bare because I'm I'm gonna add a sentiment somewhere on here. I don't want to have it all filled up. Okay, I'm just gonna clean off my stamps. Try to keep in these clean as I go. Okay. So I'm just gonna put that out of the way for now. And now I'm just going to stamp on some Whisper White. I want to stamp my birds. And I'm going to do the birds in basic gray. I love this stamp set. Okay, now I'm going to take And this is so saffron and I'm going to stamp off and then stamp on I don't want my yellow to be too too bright I want it a little more subtle so And then there are two little birdie feet that goes with this set. And I'm going to stamp those in Memento. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Okay. 
Now I've gone ahead and die cut those ahead of time just to speed it up a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the feet and glue those to the body. Now I'm going to take my strips okay, making sure that they're cut to the right length. Now this piece, I'm just going to glue down. So now I'm just going to glue that to my card base. I've been watching, well, I've been watching and, um, interacting with, um, her name is Ruth, and she does a lot of um, One Sheet Wonders with Stampin' Up! Stamps, and she's amazing. So I'll put her link in the description, and you can check her out. Um, she, does, she does beautiful work. And then sometimes she'll do videos with uh, making cards out of the DSP that she's made, like her, she makes her own paper. Then she'll show turning that into cards. So, yeah, so I just wanted to share her channel because she's amazing. And she's actually given me a lot of inspiration. Um, so now I just need some... I'm going to pop my birds up. Stuck to me. I'm like, where did it go? <laughs> okay. Okay.
Okay, now, I don't know if that will fit on here. Only one way to find out. And we might as well do the brown because I actually liked how that turned out. Okay, let's see. I actually don't mind that. Of course, of course I would get a smudge. Oh, this video is already longer than it needs to be. <laughs> um, so I, I cut out some little flowers here. I'm not going to glue that down. I might have to redo it. But let's just Oh, my table is such a mess. Okay. Okay, let's see. So we can add a flower right over the oopsies. And maybe add two flowers up here. Yeah, I think three is good. So let's glue this down. And I'll grab some minis. So, messing up isn't always a bad thing. And I think... I'm gonna have to get some more rhinestones the way I've been going through them. But they're so pretty. And I'm just gonna do the little ones. And I'm just gonna add one to every flower. Oh, I gotta do the inside of the card. Almost forgot. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to Take my branch and 
some of this out of the way. I got stamps sprawled everywhere here. Okay. And then I'm just gonna add that to the inside. I like adding stuff to the inside of the cards. Oh, I got my glue. This is what I put my glue in. <laughs> go, Leafs, go. Okay. Okay, let's bring this back in. All right. There's the card. I actually turned out it turned out a lot better than I thought it was going to. Thank you for watching everybody. Have a great day.